A case of dog abuse, a Maltese poodle mix, barely able to eat for weeks, found with a rubber band wrapped around its snoot. And that rubber band was so tight, it was embedded right there in the dog's snout. Luckily, a good Samaritan found the dog. It's getting a whole lot of care and attention tonight. But police want to find whoever did that hateful act. News 8's Bob Wilson met up with that dog today. He joins us now with the latest. Bob, how's the dog doing? Well, the dog actually is in very good spirits. Surprisingly, I mean, when we saw the dog, we couldn't even believe it. It's now named Snowflake. The people here at the Meriden Animal Hospital have named it that, said it's doing really, really well. A lot of people want to adopt it. They'll have no trouble finding it at home, but first, they have to get it back on the road to recovery. It cut through, it sliced through her lip on the left side. You can clearly see the ring around her nose where the rubber band was placed and stayed for nearly three weeks. A good Samaritan found Snowflake in front of the Community Health Center on State Street in Meriden on Monday. She was wandering the streets, malnourished, dehydrated, and unable to open her mouth. Well, this is one of the worst animal cruelty cases I've seen in, in my five years as an animal control officer. Uh, I just don't believe that, that someone could be this cruel. Snowflake is a one-year-old Maltese poodle mix and has an infected snout. Vets say the scarring is so bad that when she closes her mouth, you can still see her teeth. But despite the pain and abuse, doctors say she is in amazing spirits. She wants to be with somebody all the time, so the fact that she's this trusting of people after somebody did this to her, she's really an amazing little dog. What makes vets and even the police suspicious is that this dog is so friendly, easy, it comes up to anybody, very well behaved. They don't understand who could do this to them. So they're saying tonight, if you have any information, please come forward if you know who might own Snowflake. We don't know if it was to prevent the dog from barking, prevent the dog from eating, but then to turn it out on the street. Um, you know, they could have always come to animal control. Vets say Snowflake is going to need extensive surgery to repair her lips, gums, and nose. But before they can operate, they need to get the infection under control. They say this little girl should make a full recovery, especially since she survived on the streets with all odds against her. She was defenseless. She could barely eat or drink because she couldn't open her mouth, and um, she couldn't defend herself. Now, Snowflake is fully grown, a little over one years old, and weighs only eight pounds, but expected to make a full recovery. Police say if they do make an arrest, the charges could be felony. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Meriden, News 8. Hard to imagine, but we are already getting a big response on this story. So many people out there want to help. We've even heard from one woman tonight who says she wants to pay for the dog's medical bills. If you want more information on Snowflake, we have that number of the animal hospital on our website. You can find it at WTNH.com.